everybody. Today I want to talk to you about a cool little Apple script that's used with Keyboard Maestro to help you connect and disconnect your headphones, your Bluetooth headphones to your Mac. And I found this very useful as opposed to going through this process here, which is you go to, let's see, there we go. I have to show the, the menu again. So to get to your Bluetooth headphones, you would have to click um, the menu here and then find the headphones you want to connect and then hit connect. And to disconnect them, you'd have to do the exact same thing, but this button would um, would say disconnect. And the reason I am not physically turning them on right now is because once I turn them on, if they are the last uh, headphones that were connected to this Mac, they will automatically connect regardless if I use the script and the keyboard maestro or not. So, without further ado, let's show this uh, Apple script and where to put it in a keyboard maestro macro so that you are able to use it. Alright, so let's get started. First, um, let's start with the uh, Apple script. So, to turn, um, here's the Apple script. I'm going to write it using another keyboard maestro macro that I've set up prior to this video. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and put in the Apple script and uh, talk about it. So, here we go. And here you see, this is the Apple script being written right now. And I will have this linked at the bottom of, of my video. Right, so once it's done, and I'm going to hit compile, which is, I think this is the button. Yeah, it's the compile the script. Okay? So I compile the script. And here it is. This is the script. Okay, so what you see here is set device name to this will be whatever your uh, device name is. So if you have a, a Bose headphones, you can this will be Bose something or other. And that will be the only item in the list that you will have to uh, change. Okay? Um, so you'd have to change the name. So let's, um, since I already have it created, I'm just going to show you how to place it in a keyboard maestro um, macro. So we're going to now log keyboard maestro. And then I'm going to create another, a new macro. I'm going to call it um, Headphones On Vid. Now I'm going to give it a let's see a um, command shift options control with an O so then I'm gonna 
get that will be the hotkey trigger. And then do this. So I gave it the trigger already. Then I'm gonna hit new action and hit or type, excuse me, execute. And here's the uh, action that I want, execute, execute an Apple script. And then it will um, give me this dialog box. But I'm going to change this item to execute a file because we're going to save the file. And then I'm going to go back to the Apple script. And I'm going to save it. Go file, save. And I'm going to go to uh, the desktop. Give it headphones on as the name. And then hit save. I'm going to now close this, but I'm not going to quit Apple Script because we have another um, script that we need to write. So, now that I have the file, it's right here on the desktop. I'm going to click this file icon here to load the file that I just saved. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to select headphones on. And then I'm going to click OK. And that, that's it for this um, Apple script and this macro. So you're going to create two macros. Hmm. Now I'm going to create the second one. I'm simply going to duplicate this one that I just created. You right click and you select duplicate. It will create it with a title that says copy. I'm going to keep the same um, key hotkey trigger so that when it's launched, it gives you a conflict palette and you can select which macro you'd like to use. So I'm going to keep the same um, hotkey trigger and then I'm going to, um, well first I'm going to delete this um, file that's in the action right now and then I'm going to create the, um, the Apple script. I'm going to go back to Apple script, there it is. And then I have the Apple script uh, ready to be typed already in another macro, but that's, uh, we'll save how I did that in for another video. So this time I'm gonna type the trigger for to type the macro or to type the Apple script in. There you go. There, it's typed the um, Apple script in, and I'm going to compile it just like I did for the last one. 
There it is. Now you will see the different the only difference between this script and the last one is that everywhere you saw connect or connected or connecting in the last Apple script, you see disconnect, disconnect, and actually this should say this should say disconnecting. So I'm gonna change that. And I'm gonna compile again. All right. Now I'm gonna save again. We're gonna save this as headphones off. So I'm gonna click on the name of the previous script but change this on to off. And it's still going to be saved on the desktop for easier access. So now I can quit the um, editor once it's Save my file. Here we go. It's now saved the file. You see the title up here change. I'm going to quit Apple Script. I'm going to go back to uh, Keyboard Maestro Editor. I'm going to load the new Apple Script. And that's it for the second uh, Apple script. Okay, now and uh, all you have to do to execute these two um, macros is click tap on the uh, trigger that you set up for it mine is control uh, option shift and command plus o so as you can see here and then so apparently i had another um macro that's within this using the same trigger that's why you see uh, three different macros but the macro the two macros we want is are these right here so you can probably you have to rename them and they will get a different uh, a different uh, letter to tap when you want to select one over the other and if you um, my headphones are not on right now so that's why it won't work if they are not on and if I turn them on they will automatically connect because they are the last ones to be connected to this Mac but th these two macros will work so, um, if you liked the macro, let me know in the comments below if they didn't work, if these macros didn't work for you. Also, let me know in the comments below. Let, please um, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed what I showed in this uh, video. And also, let me know in the comments below what new automations you'd like to see in future videos. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next video.